Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the charming cheat, Martin A. Nash. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Hi, how are you, Dave? Nice, nice to have you at the card court of the Magic Cat Palace. And, oh, dear, how are you? You know, as I say, you know, sometimes I do card tricks, and sometimes I do gambling, and sometimes I do a little bit of both. But usually I do it just for one reason. I do cards for fun, because cards are a fun sort of thing. And uh, I'm going to show you a little something that I do, and it's something that I've been doing, uh, Bob, for quite a few years. And in order to do it, I'm going to cut to just four cards at random. And whatever four cards I cut to, we'll use, okay? So we will use, at random, we'll use this card, this card, this card, and that card. Is that okay? Quite a random card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it do doesn't bother you. Oh, uh, not at Okay. Either. You can try and cut four better if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding. Now, there's a strange thing about cards, and that is, and a lot of people don't realize this, that every deck of cards as it comes from the manufacturer is marked. How's that? It is. Did mm -hmm. you know that, Lynn? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's true. Would I lie? <laughs> of course. No. Mm -hmm. You see, every deck of cards... Now, if I show you where the marks are, Bob, and I actually show you the marks on deck of cards so you could be able to do things like this, do you promise that you will never use it to become a multimillionaire? The same as I had to promise that I wouldn't use it to be obviously become not a multimillionaire. <laughs> okay. But you touch any card, and I'll tell you what it is. Just touch any card. Now, you want me to tell you what that card is? Yes. And you want to see the mark? Yes, I'd also like to okay. see that mark. You see that little cue? Little heart? Yeah. Queen of hearts. Perfect. Cut. Well, you can't tell anything from this side, but they're all marked from that side, right? But gamblers do use marked cards, and they actually look very similar to what I was just showing you. Mm -hmm. They really do. I'll show you what I mean. I'm shuffling the deck face up, Bob, so you can see that I'm actually shuffling the cards into each other. And as I go by, you might see that some of the aces are being mixed up, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I will do as a gambler should do, and I will shuffle them face down, just to mix them up, okay? So now, in the deck, we have some aces. And as I told you, the deck is marked. But I'm going to let you see it as I would see it if I were a gambler, okay? Lynn, would you give me any number, say, between 1 and 10? 6. 6. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you can see the mark of the ace. No, I can't see the mark. <laughs> Bob, would you... One. Look, if you look for the ace, give me another number. Just any old number, 3. 3. 1, 2, 3. And you see the mark on that one? Where's the mark? Right there. The ace, the diamond, ace of diamonds. We're getting there. Hold on. But once again, you can't tell unless you concentrate. Then give me a number. Four. One, two, three. Another ace. Bob, would you do me a favor? Look, they're all face down. Would you cut the deck half over to here? At about half, Bob. About a half. Yeah. We've got to keep it honest. In gambling, you've got to cut at least one-third of the deck, okay? okay? And how many people? How many? Give me a number. Uh, six. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one. So if you really look, you can see how they're marked, right? You don't understand anything. <laughs> there is a fable that's been going around for many years ever since the invention of cards, when gamblers talk about gambling and cheating. And if you hear people talking, they'll, they'll talk about this one particular deal, and it's known as the center deal. In other words, what it means is to be able to deal any card you want from any position in the deck, no matter where it lies. Mm -hmm. Now, if they're all together, that makes it easy. But I'm going to show you the most difficult type of deal that has ever been invented by the professional gambler. And that is to center deal four cards from four different parts of the deck. I want you to watch carefully. Make sure that I don't cheat because everything that I say I will do is exactly what I will do. The Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Spades. And as you can see, the aces are separated into the deck. All I'm going to do, Bob, is press them in flush. 
Now, I'm not going to shuffle or anything like that. The four aces are now in four parts of the deck. Bob, how many people in a game of poker? Four, five, or six, seven, how many? I guess it's normally four, isn't it? Four, five, six, doesn't matter. Okay. How many would you like? No, I'll settle with four. Four. One, two, three, four. That's one ace. That's two aces. If you're dealing face up, it would come like that. That's three aces. But if you want to continue face down, four aces from four parts of the deck without shuffling or cutting. The incredible set of you. Thank you. Lynn, I'm going to ask you to assist me, if you would. And Lynn, I'm not going to ask you to select a card. The only thing I'm going to ask you to do is, as I ripple down through the deck, I just want you to say stop. Wherever you stop me, please remember the card. I've been doing a little bit of gambling. I want to do a card trick, I feel like. I feel a card trick coming on, okay? Lynn, anytime you wish, would you just say, you get the idea, I ripple down, you say stop. Are you ready? Here we go. Maybe, maybe I didn't explain myself too well, dear. Uh, I riffled down through the deck. You say stop where you stop. You remember, okay? On the count of three. One, two. Dear, I haven't started. Okay, here we go. Stop. Would you remember that card? I'd like everybody here to see it. Did you get to see it, sir? No, I didn't get to see Don't it. Don't worry, you will in a minute. Okay. Dear, would you just place your hand on the pack? Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite trick. <laughs> Don't laugh. I practiced with cards for 38 years so as I could get to do this. <laughs> you know, uh, Len, keep your hand there. Len, we have one, two, three, four aces. You have a good grip on the cards. Do you remember the order of the aces? No. Oh, it's very, it's very important, Len. I'll do it again. But first of all, we have the ace of spades. That's followed by the diamond. That's the one single girl search for. The ace of hearts. And last but not least, the Ace of Clubs. Lynn, do you have a good grip on the deck? Lynn, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these four aces and very slowly pass them over your hand just three times. And as I do, Lynn, you're going to feel the full power, the fury, the force, and the anger of Tazza Hot. Now, doesn't that jar you right down the bootstraps? Lynn, you don't look too worried. You know who Tazza Hot is. That's why you're not worried. Now, you see, he is the patron saint of all card cheats and a very good friend of mine. And, dear, when he strikes, <laughs> well, you know it. Lynn, are you ready? This won't hurt much. Here we go. Now, Lynn, be honest with us. Did you feel it? You didn't feel it? No. You felt it that time, right? No. Nope. She's not feeling too well? Did you feel it that time? Yeah. You did? Dear, you are thinking of a card. What is the name of the card you're only thinking of, please? Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts. Watch the Aces. <laughs> 